In the modern day, people have forgotten the art of doing work. Many people see it as a dreaded task that they need to get done every single day, that they hate doing and that they just need to force themselves to do it and just get it over with. But there's a few select people in the modern day that actually love doing work. And the other people are left wondering like, what? But that's not the case because I became one of those guys and I used to work terribly, I used to hate my work. But now I love doing work. And in this video, I'm gonna try and give you guys some of the tips and learning lessons I learned in becoming a person who loves doing their work. So the first piece of advice I can give you is to begin doing deep work sessions instead of the Pomodoro short work sessions. If you don't know, deep work sessions are those really long work sessions, like one to two hours of work that you're just focused. You're just focused on the task at hand and you're just getting it done and working towards it and working hard and you're not thinking about anything else. But there's also another type of work method called the Pomodoro method. In that method, you work 25 minutes, take a break, 25 minutes, take a break. And I find that that just ruins your happiness and your drive to work. You're just working so you can get that break. In deep work, you're in a flow state, so you're happy. Because when you're in a flow state, you're not thinking about anything else. You're just thinking about the task at hand. So if you want to get more work done and be happy while doing it, I really do recommend you start working deeply and longer instead of doing those 25 minutes, five minute breaks. The next tip is actually really simple, but it's very difficult to execute on. Remove distractions. Only leave what you're going to truly need for the entire work session on your desk or wherever you're going to work at. Remove your phone. Remove the distracting people around you. Go to somewhere where no one's going to interrupt you. Remove the distractions that take you away from doing your work and only leave what you need on your work table or whatever you're going to do your work. The third piece of advice is that it's okay to change your environment that you work in. I used to always think that like I had to work at this desk every single hour of the time. Every single time I needed to work, I needed to work here on this desk. And that was a very big misconception because I really got bored of doing work in the same place over and over again. And then I realized that you could change your environment and your productivity actually increases. So I started to do work outside. I started to do work here. I started to do work at different places. So don't be afraid to change your environment if it helps your productivity. Now the next one, some of you guys might have a big like <laughs> stance against. Obviously you have work to do that you need to do every single day, whether you like it or not. Right? You may have to do work or school work or whatever, and that's okay. But you do have free time, right? And now I challenge you that on that free time, you dedicate maybe like an hour or two to doing a work, a type of work that you actually are passionate about. So for me, I have to do school work, right? Regardless if I like it or not. Every single day I have to do school work. But I have free time as well. And in that free time, instead of like wasting my time, I set aside maybe two hours every single day or like maybe an hour every single day. Maybe sometimes I don't have time to do it every single day, but I try to work on this channel here. For you, it could be anything else. You could maybe work on building a house or something, maybe work on growing a garden. All that is work. It's just different forms of work. But make sure it's a type of work that helps you grow and improve as a person. Now, the next one is pretty simple and a lot of you guys actually probably don't do it. It's just to know what type of work you're going to be doing from the day before. So what I do is I personally just schedule my entire day on the notes app on the Mac. And that allows me to know, okay, so at 11 o'clock, I'm gonna be doing a deep work session until three o'clock or whatever, where I need to work on this type of school assignment. But if you do know what you're gonna be doing from the day before, when you wake up, you can just use all your energy to deep work and to get your work done. Now, the final tip I can give you is to have everything you're gonna use for the entire work session in the place you're gonna be working at. So I recommend you use water bottle, tissue paper, keyboard, laptop, whatever you need, have it all there so that you don't give yourself an excuse to, oh, I gotta go get up to, I don't know, get a cookie or blow my nose. No, you have everything at your desk. So when you sit down, you do not get up until that timer rings and your deep work session ends and you have that work done and you're feeling amazing. Work is super fun, especially when you complete it. If you get inside, you do a deep work session, you, you're in a flow state, and you get out of that flow state, you finish two hours of hard work, and then you're like, okay, look how much progress I made on this work. You did like, let's say you're writing a book. Oh my God, I wrote three chapters, or whatever. I wrote two chapters, or I wrote one chapter. Wow, this is amazing. The happiness you feel there is unbeatable. Now, if you want some more help on 
knowing what I do on my desk, like my desk setup for my work productivity, then click on this video here. And then if you want to know more about my productivity system, then click on this video here. Have a blessed holy week. Love you, bro.